and welcome to day six of Vlogmas. Today is Sunday the 6th of December and what time is it now? It's about 8, 10, something like that, 8 o'clock, 10 past 8. I, um, I've had a little bit of a lie in bed this morning which is quite unusual for me. I'm not one to sleep in. Um, I'm not a good sleeper and it's not because of anything that's happening around us at the moment with covid or anything else i have never been a good sleeper um so yeah I, when i got up this morning to go and make coffee i was quite surprised when i looked at what the time it was plus i'm not one for lying in bed mate never have been i've always been a firm believer in bed is for resting when you've done that get out of it make it and have done with it I'm not one for um being in my bed um, so this morning, what, oh, my coffee, my coffee this morning is in my driving home for Christmas mug. Um, I have made, um, I've, I call them a posh coffee. I have made a posh coffee this morning, but it's just a regular, um, latte. I don't know if you can see, yeah, just a regular latte. And as you can guess, I'm here with our Zach. This is our morning routine, most mornings now. Um, excuse me, we get up, I get up, make a coffee, he sits by me for 10-15 minutes while I do a couple of rounds of my knitting and then we go off for a walk, shower and get ready for the day. Um, so while I was having my coffee again this morning I just thought I'd pop in and say hello. Um, today's plans for today, I'm not really sure to be fair, um, as you can see, as you've seen from I don't know other footage I don't know if you've watched it but we've still not baked any cookies it just doesn't seem to have happened just yet they will get done um I went into the kitchen last night and to get myself a little drink because it was Saturday night and I felt like a treat and I'd noticed that Tim had put yarn into soak so we're obviously going to be dyeing yarn today or Tim is um now I'm gonna have to stop the camera for a minute because I'm going to have a sneeze sorry about that um, where was I? So yeah, um, we're going to dye some yarn. I um, I've got some things that I need to do in my craft room. I've cut out some bags. Um, so I did go in yesterday and sew a couple of things. I've made a couple of little new um, patchwork notion pouches, or just you know, I I have one of these, but I keep my scissors, my circular needles, that kind of thing. I find them really handy. Um, Yesterday we made stitch markers, went for a walk, um, watched a couple of movies um, and that's it really. It's very, very difficult, isn't it, when it's like this, to try, when I say when it's like this, I mean like the COVID, to try and film content that, you know, I think that you might be interested in. Everybody seems to be doing really, really well with the Vlogmas. I have, I, I mean, there's that many out there. What, who was I watching the other day? Who was I watching? Who was I wa oh, it was Rachel from So Ray B. I caught one of her um, episodes while I was um, up in my craft room. And even Rachel was saying that there's so many out there. And when she said, and I totally agree with this, some days you're in moods for one and other days you're not and vice versa. And I find that, I find that right from the beginning, I mean, I've only been into watching... Um, YouTube videos and following people probably for a couple of years now that's all not for long and the ones that really got me going and inspired me there's quite a few of them there's not many left that I watch anymore and for no other reason than there's just so many others out there that are more you or appeal to you I think um yeah so I don't know why I started telling you that see I'm going off on a, a right, but anyway, yeah, don't mean to babble on. So I'll go back to what I started telling you. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what's on the agenda today, but hopefully I will be able to get some footage and film it. But I just wanted to show you, I sat for a couple of hours last night and did some work on my Whitmore sweater. Um, oh, excuse me, it's the coffee. Excuse me. To be fair... I haven't done tons and tons of crafting. Not as much as I thought I would do. So I am hoping that... 
for the rest of December I might be able to get a bit more done but I don't know I seem to be really struggling with my crafting at the moment not that I don't want to do it it's just that it just it's one of those does anybody else find this that the day we, we, we're not in lockdown anymore but Tim and I are um, because of his illness and so it seems that I have a lot more hours in the day where I don't go out don't have to do housework you know there's only Tim and I live here I keep it pretty clean and tidy on a daily basis so it's not masses of housework to do and yet the day just goes by and I don't find time to do the things I want to it's it's madness really anyway I'm going to flip you around and let you have a look at the work that I have done on my Whitmore sweater bear with me and I'll flip you around so this is the progress that I did like I say I haven't got much done um, but you can just about, can you just about see the pattern, how it's forming? Um, you just sort of have to focus on one little bit and you can see, you know, like this little pattern here. And then you can just see them forming the patterns. Oh, sorry, there's my feet. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, that's how far I've got. I'm going to sit and have my coffee now and do another maybe two or three rounds. Because obviously the bigger it gets, the longer it's taken. And then I'm going to um, just put my walking clothes on and go and have a nice walk with Zach. Then I carry on and do my own walk, come back, have my shower, and then I'm going to start my day. So yeah, that's my Whitmore sweater. just at the moment and um, actually just working I know it's Sunday but when you do things like this you do it when you've got the chance so I'm just going to show you some of the stitch markers that Tim's just made this I love this set the little squirrel with the pine cones and then I've got a couple more Christmassy ones that's the pro pro progress keeper progress keeper oh look at those He's really good at doing things like this, Tim. Tim buys all this and makes all these for my shop. That's another set. Um, these are fruits. So there's four fruit or vegetables stitch markers and then one progress keeper. So there's that set. These will be in my shop hopefully by tonight. And then there's that set. And this one... So, yeah. these have got pineapples and strawberries and carrots and then there's this I really like this um, this again is a hedgehog but it's um, it's hollow in the middle isn't that nice, really nice little progress keeper that and then I am helping out a very dear friend of mine you probably all know Angela from Knitting on the Farm she has had um about that my camera cut off um she has sent me um this beautiful well first of all this is the contrasting fabric that she sent me and then this beautiful piece of linen with um it's actually linen and it's a tea towel a christmas tea towel and she's asked me would i try and make it into a christmas bag for her so i'm hoping to get that cut out this afternoon i probably won't get it made but I'm hoping to get it cut out and get some um, fusible wadding put to it. So then tomorrow when I start sewing, um, I can start on that and do that. I have made a couple of other bits and pieces that I will show you. Just bear with me. Here we have a little Notions pouch. Um, I made these yesterday. So it's a little, it's not much um, patchworking, but there's a little bit. And I'm going to put three crochet hooks. I think the crochet hooks start... At. just bear with me i'm not sure i think the two and a half three and four but i just thought that was a nice little so i made that one 
and then I made this one. I have got more stuff cut out. I'm going to carry on sewing all week, so hopefully there will be some stock in the shop. And Tim, as we speak, is downstairs dyeing yarn. So I'm going to carry on. And this afternoon, I think we're going to sit and have a nice glass of mulled wine and watch a Christmassy movie. So I shall see you all later. I've had a lovely afternoon making this lovely bag for my friend Angela, who hosts our Zoom meeting. Angela is um, known on Instagram and YouTube as Knitting on the Farm. She saw this... Um, sorry, I don't know if my battery was going then. She saw this or had this bought for her this top part um, and she asked me would I put it together for her. I think she was a bit scared of um, it not working out right. It was very easy to do. I'm almost certain Angela could have done it um, and I have asked permission to show it to you. I've not just put it on here without her permission. She said it's okay. So yeah, that's how it's turned out. I'm really quite pleased. It's a beautiful, it was actually a tea towel. How lovely is that? Um, and I've lined it with some robins for her because I know that robins are a favourite and there was a little bit left over so I've made her a little lavender pouch so yeah I think that's going to be Angela's um, I'm not sure if it's a Christmas Eve cast on it might be a bit big for what she's got planned for a Christmas Eve cast on I don't know you'll have to watch her and wait and see I just wanted to talk to you about this um, I would imagine by now I'm not sure where I've put the footage but you might have seen this. I just wanted to tell you, um, Angela, my the, my friend and my boss, who I used to work for at the Bobbin Patch, she made me this last year for one of my Christmas presents. This is just how clever Angela is. It's all handmade. These here are little tiny pieces of felt that she's sewn over with thread. Look at the detail in that house. The snow on the roof, and look at that snowflake. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. This little bird here, that's a button. And this is a button. Is it not gorgeous? And the snowman. I'd really like to have a go at something like that, but whether I would be able to do that, I'm, I'm sure I would. I don't think for one minute it would look as fantastic as that. But yeah, hasn't she done a fantastic job? And then on the back, let me show you. She's just got another piece of felt and she's hand stitched it all the way around like that to keep it, you know, secure. And so it covers up all the back of the work. And then it's just hung with a gold ribbon. Is that not just absolutely beautiful? I love it. And I was having a little bit of a panic because... I got all my Christmas decorations down. It usually takes me over a week to decorate because I remember things and then have to go and find them. Well, I couldn't find it anywhere and I was really panicking. Anyway, I found it wrapped up in tissue, tucked away in, in the cupboard in a little box. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you that in full detail. Well done, Angela. I love it. It's very, very clever.